Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And as I mentioned before, when you come back, it was gonna be a new setup. In today's video, uh, we will be focusing on how to freshen up makeup. Um, it's about three o'clock. I've had this makeup on since probably 9 a.m. And so it's going on about seven to almost eight hours of, of just makeup application and I wanted to show you guys how to freshen it up and what you can do if you're coming home from work or you're going to a happy hour, you're going on a date after work or just you've had it on for a couple hours but you're not ready to completely take off the makeup and you want to be able to freshen it up because it still looks good but there are some areas that could use a little bit um, more TLC if, uh, for lack of a better word. So if you're interested in watching this video, subscribe and then continue. My makeup actually looks really good. It, this is very much uh, what I call a light beat and I've got brows, I've got foundation, I've got concealer and I've got lipstick and I want to say a little bit of contour, highlight or had highlight and then I have uh, blush. So whenever you, I want you guys to just look at my skin. Um, I notice problematic areas, but that's just because I wear makeup all the time. So I think the first thing you want to do when you're thinking about freshening up your makeup is to say to yourself, where do I feel that I have an opportunity to fix? So I may grab my mirror. If I'm home or if I'm out, I may take my little mirror. And first thing that I notice is that my forehead is looking of a little dewy. I like that it's, um, that there's like a spotlight like there is lightness there but I can see oils and I've, I know my skin very well um, my nose is very dewy right now and my chin it just it could it could be better my chin could definitely be better um, as you guys know in my previous video I definitely have a lot of texture right now my skin is having some sort of allergic reaction to something that I've been using and so um, I'm trying to work on figuring that out but I am flaking under my eyes right here which is where the mascara has pretty much broken off and I've got a little bit too much um, uh, powder setting powder in in close to my eyes so it's not looking as um, it's not looking as fresh as I would like um, there's literally black spots all around here so because of that it's making me look actually a little bit old and it's looking making me look very tired if I get closer it looks very smoky but from far away I personally feel like it's a little bit dark and so I want to fix that my eyebrows are just a little bit off here in the corner this eyebrow is, is like perfect but this one is looking a little crazy and then the last thing is my lipstick looks crusty um, I may want to adjust a little bit of highlight but it really depends on how um, the rest of this video goes so that's what I'll be focusing on. I would say I think in every makeup bag whether you're at home or you are out and about is to have maybe a couple q-tips um, you should definitely have these blotting sheets. Mine are from this company called New Natural 24-7. It's an oil blotting tissue and it's from Bamboo Charcoal. I like this a lot. It picks up a lot of excess oil. Um, a lot of sheets are in there. I've had this for a very long time and I just feel like I never run out of it. Um, it says that it's supposed to uh, touch up for appearance in seconds with this convenient, extremely absorbent facial blotting tissue with bamboo charcoal powder. Charcoal, as you know, you guys know that I'm a big fan of, is meant to absorb that excess oil that's um, in your probably T zone or your chin or whatever. Um, I am home, so I have cotton swab, cotton swabs. You can keep these, but I feel like they're important for um, removing lip color. I don't advise using a lipstick, uh, a piece of tissue, which I do have here. I just feel like it just, it ends up breaking down, whereas cotton and a ball is meant to just absorb. So those kind of things I feel like should be put in a plastic bag and not be con contaminated. These little brushes from Luxie, I, when I first got them from BoxyCharm, I was like, ah, I don't think I'm going to use them. And then I started carrying them everywhere and they like saved the day. I've, I will come back to the eye area, but most importantly, I want to fix whatever I feel I am the most concerned about. I want to make sure that I've gotten that. So I've definitely cleaned up. Now I feel a little bit more refreshed, right? So moving on from that. I'm going to go in with my makeup blotting sheet and I'll take one. I may go in with a second one. This is what it looks like. And I'll just first things first, take that forehead take that forehead 
and you want to push because you want to be able to receive that oil gracefully gracefully and this is what the towel looks like so it definitely was very dewy very dairy very, very dairy very dairy <laughs> so I'm gonna take another one because you want to preserve your skin and I'm gonna hit the chin and I'm gonna push and push and while I'm looking at the mirror I'm starting to notice that uh, I thought it was my forehead my nose and my chin but I'm starting to notice my t-zone got a little crazy too so we're gonna just go in with these makeup lotions. And just to go um, to reiterate, you don't have to get this same brand. I got these because they were on sale and I'm a cheap ass and um, I'm frugal. And I got this because I don't know, it was on sale and I just liked anything that has charcoal on it. If a blotting sheet works for you, if you want the ones that have tea tree on it or just like a regular one, make your heart happy by getting what's best. I think it's important to have these blotting sheets. Um, and if you are a gangster princess like me, you can always use the roll up papers from, for smoking weed. I know milk makes them, but I feel like they are just trying to gentrify roll up papers because you can get those raw papers from like a smoking store for literally a dollar. Um, but I still want some sort of definition and I still want to give a look if that makes sense. So, um, what do I want to fix? Most importantly, I want to fix my lipstick. I've got a matte lipstick on, it got a little crusty dusty, and that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is remove the entire lipstick. It's totally up to you if you want to do this, but for me, um, I would like to remove it with a vitamin E just because I would like some sort of protectant and I don't want anything to strip total moisture because at this point it's already uh, been stripped of moisture because, you know, matte lipsticks do that. Um, I'm gonna, the reason I took the tissue out is because um, I want to take something that's dry to remove um, any excess uh, built up um, dry skin and then try to take off whatever layer I want to take off and then try to take off whatever layer of um, lipstick I can with the tissue and then I'll go in with the cotton swab. So watch me work. As you can see on the napkin, oh shit. You can see in the napkin, I started taking off little pieces of the makeup. And that happens. Makeup is just makeup. It's going to move. It's going to do its own thing. It's got its own personality like a wild child. So, at this point, it's kind of creating sort of like a lips lip stain, which I don't mind. Uh, to me, the biggest thing is making sure that I get off whatever is building up a residue. Using vitamin E, I put a little bit on my cotton ball. Cotton ball. You can't even see that. I tried. Um, so I'm gently just trying to remove whatever is left on there. At this point, the lipstick is leaving. Um, a very intense color on my lips. I actually really like it. It makes my lips kind of look like they were bleeding. And I want to play off that. Okay, so I'm just taking the spoolie, and the reason I'm taking the spoolie is because I want to just make sure that I get off the, like, the extra dead skin. My lips are a little bit chapped, but I have something protecting it, which is the vitamin E, and I don't mind that there's color on it, because who cares? It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to put lipstick on it or some sort of lip product on it in a few minutes for extra protection of that barrier, especially to lock in that vitamin E oil. I'm gonna go in with my Aquaphor. Um, it's the little sample I have of this advanced therapy healing ointment. And I'm gonna take the teensiest amount. And what I'm gonna do next is just put it on my lips. And pat that in. So what I'm gonna do is just comb them out the way that, that I want. I'm not gonna put any more brow product on it because I feel like too much brow product or brow gel is not good. 
And now I've got a uniform bra, which I prefer. Um, I may just add a little bit of powder. Bone color there, and it's got a dark and a taupey. I love taupe. I used to be very against um, like these types of colors because I'm like, oh, it's, it's not gonna work. But you know, brows can do whatever the hell. Brows can be treated however you prefer. There's no one way to do your brows. There's no one way you should do your brows or how you should be. Um, it's just a matter of preference. And honestly, I change my mind about my brows pretty much every single day. Lately, I've been wanting to do such a subtle look that it almost looked like I didn't fill them in because I have hairs from here and then at the arch and at the end. I love to elongate the, um, the end and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Take right. your fluffiest, fluffiest brush. Tap off that excess and hit that lid. That's it. Now I look like I put in the effort, but I also, you wouldn't even know I didn't go home. The difference between that eye and this one, maybe it's just me, but this just looks a little bit more, I don't know, put together. It also looks drier than it was before. And I also like to let the brush do its thing. I'm holding it from that end. I'm gonna go in there and that one. I almost want it to look kind of like my skin's color except more matte. And I want to concentrate it on the areas where I knew I was starting to get a little bit of a oily eyelid because I would hate to be dancing or doing karaoke, which I actually don't do that karaoke, but I would hate to be you know, busting out down at the down on the dance floor, and I'm that girl with the oily eyes. That's like my fear. That is my fear, baby girl. All right. So now I've created something. I look like I'm ready to hit the town, at least for my eyes, and I don't look like I spent eight hours at work. You should carry maybe a kabuki, a small kabuki. Someone's carrying around this big brush on their makeup bag, unless you're that girl. And if you are, I'm not judging. But I'm not that girl. I can't do it. Me can't. Me can't do it. Now I look awake. Now I'm ready to play. Now I'm ready to play. I love when there's mascara on the bottom lash. That is my jam right there. That right there is my jam. Um, I did put on mascara, I've fixed the brows, I've adjusted lips so that I can have a comfortable uh, lip application for the next time, which is going to happen in a few minutes, and right now I'm liking the way that my face looks. I feel like I'm confident again. It Cosmetics Bye Bye, Pot, Bye Bye Pores Powder. I am starting to like this stuff a lot, but a little bit, a little bit goes a long way, don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. I'm gonna just take this brush that I got from Crown and I'm gonna just dust off. And they make um, a pressed powder of this, which I know a couple people that use it and they really like it. And then I'm just gonna go under because I wanna make sure that um, under my eyes, I don't want there to be um, a reason for the mascara to break down that's my biggest thing and if it does break down the last thing i want is for it to adhere to whatever oil uh, moisture or anything that happens on here bye bye powder is something that's going to really dry up that area it's going to set that area and right now i want that i want my nose to be set and i want my forehead to be set so i'll just use whatever there and on my chin those are my problematic ears. Baby's coming in. Let me take a look. While I'm waiting for all that to dry, it's definitely refreshed to my liking. What I'm gonna do is just take that other cotton and I'm gonna try to take off, because I don't want my next lipstick to slip. And I'm glad that I did that because now I've gotten off all that excess lipstick. Trust the process. Trust the process. Do you see that? Hmm. 
and that ladies and gentlemen is it so i went from crusty dusty to uh, uh, what's okay what's your name sis what's your sign dallas makeup should be simple and sometimes it gets complicated and i'm here to tell you that even you too can save that looks sis. so thank you guys so much for watching my channel i appreciate everybody who continues to come back and uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see if not i'll see you again next week Bye. linguistic wasn't really my thing you want to then do powders and then you want to set it all so that it can